Hello and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Where Majesta has, in the last episode, committed a few crimes. He first robbed somewhere, set off an alarm, and then the worst crime of all, he assaulted a police officer. But they assaulted him first, so that makes it okay. Yeah? I think it does. That, that's how it works, I'm sure of it. Now, what can we see outside? Nothing. Hmm. Very well. That is good. For we are going to make our way to the garage. If we can. Hopefully we can. Now, there is a pharmacy just over there, and I'm kind of tempted simply because there may be some strong painkillers there. And I would really like that. Where's that zombie? Please tell me he's really far away. Yeah, he is. That's cool then. Let's get in here and get us some drugs. Ah, right. What? No. No. This. I thought this was a. Discopulus? What the hell? Uh, requires intelligence of one to easily read. Reading this book affects your morale by plus one. This book takes eight minutes to read. Okay. Can you bring your throwing skill to one? Wow. Okay, well, we'll, we'll not bother with that. Scrap metal. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Aspirin will take. Batteries will take. Uh, no. Uh, no. No to both. Oh, an MP3 player. Yes, very much yes. Right. First things first, as always, let's unload the MP3 player, then disassemble the MP3 player. Uh, that's... where are you? B. What? I'm sure it can. Did I drop a soldering iron or something? Um, hmm. Let's try that again. Uh, we want to disassemble the MP3 player. What is the MP3 player currently assigned to? J. Okay, we'll try that. Oh, all right then. I was sure that it wasn't that, but uh, never mind. What did we get? We got an antenna, another amplifier circuit, and some more copper wire. Not a bad haul, but mostly electronic skill is now one. Fantastic. We just need to get it up another two levels and we can start. Ooh. Oxycodine, that's what we want. Uh, actually, tramadol, not too bad. Um, e antibiotics, uh, I, I doubt we're going to need Prozac, but I don't think it's going to take too much weight, so we definitely not, don't need that much Prozac. Uh, we'll take another inhaler, we'll definitely take as much oxycodone as we can. Um, more antibiotics, yeah. More tramadol, too. Uh, yeah, more antibiotics. Another inhaler. Codeine. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, oxycodeine, definitely. We don't need to take any more. Oh, Thorazine. I have no idea what Thorazine is for. Hmm. I might have to look that one up. But we don't need any more antibiotics at this point. Now, what else do we have? Uh, we don't... Oh, wait. How much water have we got on us? We've got to. We're, we're good. However, oh, apple cider. We'll take that because we can use that with some vodka to make some. Uh, to make another shot. Vitamins? No, we don't need that. Bandages? Yes. We don't need the aspirin because we've already got so much of that back at the base. We'll take those bandages. Don't need the NyQuil. All the sleeping pills, all the aspirin, all the vitamins. We'll take more bandages, though. Don't need that. And we'll take those bandages. Okay. Well, we've kind of stocked up on uh, medical supplies. It's kind of unexpected. We weren't coming out here to do that. Oh... There do appear to be quite a lot of zombies down there. What's that building? Oh, don't tell me it's a nursery. Please don't tell me it's a nursery. It's a park. It's a little bit better than if it was a nursery. 
Oh, there's a grab. There's a lot of stuff. Probably in the park. Yeah. Oh, just on the other side of it, actually. Zombie dog and plenty of zombies down there. This looks like the police station. Uh, hmm. Some of these things are moderately injured, though. Oh, no, that'll be the church. Okay. Well, we're going to keep moving along in this direction, and if anything spots us starts making a run for us, then we'll duck into one of these places. I mean, the radio place is now open to us. We've opened it, that is. Now, what I don't want to do is try to break in here. I think that would potentially be a horrible and stupid thing to try. It doesn't look like there's too much on the outside over here. Okay. Let's see. Down there is a pawn shop and an electronics store. The electronics store might actually have some good stuff for us. And I'm kind of hoping that we can get into the police station without... Oh, shit. Is something following us back there? I hope not. Will this open? No, it's locked. And that was locked. Okay, well, after the episode with the cop bots... No, we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to try and break in. That is a death sentence. Just waiting for us. This place, though, I feel a little bit more confident about breaking into. Uh, I don't want to attract the blobs if I can avoid it, actually. Oh, balls. I bet I've attracted that zombie, though. Yes, more than likely. No? Uh, no, I have got his attention, unfortunately. Ooh. That is the garage, I think. Mechanical winch. And I think that is a church. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're so close. I'm going to duck into this place, though, first. Will this open? Yes, it will. Fantastic. The zombie's already in here. We need to get up to that zombie before it... Oh, too late. Never mind, we can probably just take him out fairly easily. We dodged his attempt to bite us, hit him for 7 damage, and he's down. Let's butcher him while he's here. But that does mean that uh, window is now busted, unfortunately. But we can close the others, I hope. No, they haven't got curtains. I guess shops wouldn't, though. Soldering iron. We'll empty that of goodness. Uh, let's go there. Unload. And then, I wonder if we can disassemble that one. Yes, we can. What have we got? Antenna, power converter, heating element, scrap metal. Uh, I don't really think we need any of this, but... We'll pick it up for now. Oh, we won't pick up the scrap metal. We definitely don't need to worry about that. Another soldering iron, okay. USB drive. Uh, I don't actually know what the USB drive would be good for. Other than certain uh, missions that NPCs might send you on. Let's disassemble this as well. Antenna, power converter, heating element. I mean, the heating elements might come in handy. There may be a, a bunch of things that we can make. Actually, we haven't checked. Check out electronics. Oh, wow, there's a load of stuff. We can now make an amplifier circuit with two transponder circuits. We can make a power converter with an amplifier circuit and 20 copper wire. We can make light strips. We can make, we can make flashlights and soldering irons at noise emitters. Wow. We can make that with a rate. Oh, wow. We can make a battery-operated water purifier. We don't need to. We absolutely don't need to. But maybe at some point that'll be useful to us. But uh, we're not going to worry about trying to do that right now. Ooh. What is this? Can bring your electronics skill to three. Fantastic, that's what we need. That is exactly what we have been looking for. We don't need a screwdriver. Well, we'll take the flashlight and we'll try and disassemble it in a moment. Uh, ooh, copper wire. The the noise emitter. Hmm. No, don't, don't even pick it up. Let's put on the other backpack. And then pick this up. We'll take all of this. Uh, more 
more copper wire, another soldering iron, another MP3 player. Yeah, we've got loads of stuff here. Oh, what have we seen? We've seen a zombie. How far away is that zombie? Ah, uh, he's still quite far. He might not notice us. Right, well, let's quickly unload the batteries out of these things. So, the soldering irons... Well, the radio first. Unload you. Uh, the next, the flashlight. Unload that. And anything else? Um... One of the MP3 players. Have we unloaded both flashlights? Hmm. It's a bit uh, silly of us. Let's just double check. Alright, we'll reload one of them and see if that's... Yeah, okay, that, that's better. Okay. Now, where's the soldering iron? There we are. N. We want to reload that. Now, what we want to do is to break down the ones, the things that we've just stripped of their battery. So, the MP3 player first. Oh yes. Stop the disassembly. Balls. I didn't think he would spot us. Okay, he's climbing over the counter, so we're going to have a little bit of an advantage. We dodged his attempt to bite us. Oh, I'm poking him. I'm, I'm wielding the soldering iron, damn it. Oh, how annoying. There's probably a lot of bad stuff coming. Wolves. Come on, over here then. I can easily take them out here. Oh, that's one down. What else is going to come along? Shit, are they all alerted? They might be. Yeah, they've, they've got our scent, so... Wow, we took him out in one, one shot. Okay, this looks like where we're going to be making a stand. How are we set? Our torso is in camp. Right, okay. Let's drop a bunch of stuff. We'll drop it behind us just to try and keep it separate. We'll drop that. We'll drop all the batteries, all the copper wire, the glass flasks, the chitin, uh heating elements we're pretty much going to drop all of the electronic stuff really but we, we do want to take this back with us because we can make things with it eventually right what's our status now uh, no that looks alright um, and since we may be fighting a grabber zombie soon as well where is the grabber zombie he's miles away actually no, we should be okay. We'll wait. The grabber zombie looks like he's getting close. If any special infected look like they're getting close, we'll drop what we're carrying. All right, he's stunned. He's dead. Anything else coming along? No? I think we might be alright. I think we're probably going to be okay. Yeah, it looks like. Okay. Let's, uh... Find the backpack. Uh, where the backpack? Alright, let's have a look what else we've got. More batteries, processor board radio, two way radio. We've already got that. Um, oh, it's a blob. Really? All the things. Fine, we'll fight you. Critical hit. Critical punch for four damage. Three. Critical hit. Stunned. Critical hit again. Wow. How much punishment can this take? It's severely injured now, though. It's attacking back at this point, but 
I think we've got this fight. That one's down. And that one's down as well. Okay. That's not too bad. Bunch of corpses, but uh, we're okay. Right, let's pick up the stuff here that we want to take with us. So, Which is pretty much everything, honestly. No, oh, where are those zombies? They're far away, so hopefully they stay far away. Take the batteries, the processor board, radio, two-way radio. More batteries, another soldering iron. Flashlight, hot plate, and the other flashlight. Well, we're going to have to start breaking this down again. Uh, let's unload them first. two-way radio regular radio and two soldering irons that we're not actually using what else one of the flashlights Oh no, we've just got four. I, I thought it was saying they had four batteries in it, but it's not. It's the, there are four soldering irons there. Um, I think that was it. Right, let's start breaking these things down then. First, the hot plate, because I think that's the heaviest of them all. Was I right? Yes, I was. And... Now, I'm tempted to keep the two-ray radio, honestly. Let's just keep breaking things down, simply because we'll get skill for it. We're a bit hungry at this point, so let's eat some more cooked meat. And have some of our water. Now, what's our electronic skill like? Uh, it's not doing too bad, considering all we're doing is breaking things down. Uh, let's work on the soldering irons. And the radios. It looks like we're still okay for the time being. have we got to take apart uh, the flashlights we've got one flashlight still yeah there we go pick up those batteries another hot plate wow another soldering iron Taser. Okay, now that is something I think I'll be keeping hold of. Uh, let's have a look at that. Alright, a high-powered stun gun. Use this item to attempt to electrocute an adjacent enemy, damaging and temporarily paralyzing them. Because the shot can actually jump through the air, it is difficult to miss. Okay. Okay, I think that would be really good. I don't think it would really be useful against cop bots, but uh, against any opponent that seems to be hitting us more than we're capable, maybe we're in pain or something, and McJest is a bit slower, using that might give him a chance to get a critical hit off or something like that. Yeah, I'm, we're going to keep hold of that. That one's going to be a keeper. In fact, let's load it. Because that will reduce our battery weight a fair bit, I would imagine. And then unload a bunch of soldering irons and another hot plate. And anything else? No. Okay, well, we're going to break those soldering irons down in the hot plate as well. And. N. 
the items are starting to spill out of this area now because there's so many of them. But we're going to keep the two ray radio. Right, now, we've got copper wire that I would like to collect. Uh, no, that's fine. Let's see. These things are generally not that heavy. Uh, rather, volume. They don't seem to take up much volume. The scrap metal does, but it's something we can always come back for. We know what it is. Now, so many batteries. About one volume per 100 batteries. What else? Copper wire. That's still pretty light. The antenna. Amplifier circuit does seem to have a bit of volume to it, though. Um, what else? Uh, signal receiver. Yeah, we'll take that. And another antenna. We can make the antennas ourselves fairly easily, but... We're starting to get close to uh, the amount that we can carry is not so great and to be honest if we find a bunch of stuff in the garage that we want to take with us we're going to probably have to drop most of this yeah hmm. oh there's another flashlight off really is there anything else okay let's uh, unload that and then disassemble it as well Take those batteries, amplifier circuit, and copper wire. Right, I'm going to drop all of the, the good stuff here. At least all of the amplifier circuits. Let's see, and the signal transceivers, all the heating elements. Yeah, we're going to drop all the, the weird specialized stuff. But we're going to keep it in one pile so that when we come back next time, we know exactly where to go. Drop the USB drive because honestly, that's just that's just junk, really, for now. As is the plastic bottle and the aluminium can, if we're honest with ourselves. Poppy seeds we can get anyway. We're gonna keep the computer gaming magazine just because it's a computer gaming magazine and we want to keep it. Now, was there anything else here that we wanted to grab? Just so that we can, again, put it into a single pile. Uh, that's about it, I would imagine. Oh, more copper wire. We'll be taking this back with us because we can use that to make a bunch of things. Which, again, we can use to get McJester's skills up with. But if we've got enough room in our inventory when we're heading back, we'll swing back past this shop and pick up whatever we can. Now, let's have a look at the state of things. We have got about half our volume left, and only about 60 weight left. How's my just a feeling? Uh, it could be better. But, on the whole, things are going okay. Oh, what? I had to say it. I had to say things were going okay today. How far away? How far away is it? Please tell me it's really... Okay, that's that's actually quite far away. We're probably going to be okay. Just please don't decide that you're interested in mechanics. Um, use the mechanical winch, yes. You turn the handle, the gate is open. Okay, fantastic. Mechanical... These things are amazing! You are joking me. It, it's a fully functional car. It is a fully functional car. Wow. Okay. For those who can't quite see it, the zeros are the wheels. 
Wow, install, repair, refill, remove, rename. We got... If you look at the highlighted point there that's moving around, these are wheels, 18 inch wheels. This is just a frame, but under the frame is a 3.27 litre V6 engine. Uh, these are doors, okay, so it's got a boot, it's got two doors. These are seats, seat belt, controls. Oh, it's American style car. Controls are on the left. That will probably be one of the first things I switch. Move the controls over to the right. Windshield, headlights. The headlight there is damaged. The frame, oh, the frame there is pretty badly beaten up. Uh, the trunk, though, that's awesome because this thing will be able to carry a ridiculous amount of stuff. Now, it looks like it may be empty. Its fuel is empty, I think. It's got enough wheels. Its safe speed is 105 kilometers an hour. Its top speed is 421 kilometers an hour. It can accelerate at 7 kilometers an hour per tick. Um, it's over 1,000 kilograms in mass. Its fuel usage, traveling at the safe speed, is 3 per tick, I would imagine. The dynamics and mass, I don't understand what that is. Again, I've really not played around with this sort of stuff. Muffler, board, a board. Oh, just the sides, I guess. You can put armor plating and stuff. Oh, man, that's amazing. I had no hopes for finding a fully functioning thing. I thought we were going to be carrying stuff back. A solar cell? What? You can make your vehicles powered by solar power, yes. But this is just crazy. Have we got a welder here? A, a 4.17 litre V6 engine? Uh, right. To the southwest, there's a zombie and a wolf spider, though. Okay, they're quite far away. We can, we've can. we got a little bit of time. Skeletal, uh, skeleton, zombie dog. Now, he's a lot closer. A 9-inch motorbike wheel. Okay, there's a lot of stuff out there. And there's no petrol in the car. Plastic, oh, a plastic jerry can, okay. Now... Is there anywhere nearby we could fill this up? Is it a gas station? Oh, that's a bar. Pawn shop. Gas station. Oh, my lord. Okay. Well, it, it it's risky. I know. It's possibly suicide. But if we take this jerry can, we can fill it up at the pumps at the gas station, we can bring this gas back to the car. I mean, we've cleared this area, more or less. Around here is clear. We just haven't gone across the road, so we have no idea what's like, what it's like over there. And down here, there were the zombies, so they'll probably aggro us while we're get, trying to get gas. But if we can get back, we'll be able to... Ah, oh, man. Okay, we want to take the plastic jerry can. What's in here? That's a glass door. Okay. A broken console. Lock is empty. Empty, empty. Alright. Well. To say this was a great success would be a bit premature. But we have found more than we thought we would. More than I dreamed Majesta would find here. We have found a fully complete car. All it lacks is petrol. We can get that. We can get petrol. That won't be hard. Well, that, that may be hard, but it's getting the car out of here with one driving skill. <laughs> That's going to be the hard part because the car is facing the wrong way. So first, you can ha we're going to have to reverse out. But, well... Once we hit the road, it should be okay, because we can just go along this road here, up there, and just follow the road back to the evac shelter. Okay, so, yeah, the only thing that stands in our way, then, despite what I just said, is the gas. That's going to be the hard part. That will be the hard part, is getting the gas without getting killed. But if we can get back here, load this up, we can put whatever we want in that trunk, because the trunk's probably huge. 
And plus, we can shove things on the other seats, on the empty seats. So we'll have all the storage space we want. We can put all of the stuff we want to take back with us in the car and drive back and at our leisure, more or less. The car will make noise when traveling, so it will attract zombies on the move. But, well, at the end of the day, as long as the car's in good nick, you can pretty much ram a zombie and it will just explode. But uh, that car could do with some repair. This is where our higher mechanic skill is going to come in handy. Okay, that's our mission. We know what we've got to do. In the next episode, McJester is going to try and get some petrol. And if he succeeds, then we may be ending the episode back at the evac shelter, having driven there in our new car. Yeah. Glorious times ahead, I feel, if somewhat dangerous. But join us in the next episode to find out whether all goes to plan or whether trying to get this petrol may just be the last thing Jester tries or, in fact, does ever do. Yeah, a little bit nervous. But I shall see you then. But until then, do take care.